my cancer was back, it had got into my bones this time. Um, so I've now got palliative care, which again can sound quite scary to some people. It just means that you're going to be working with a team of people who look after you and will help you through these stages. Um, we live in Ivy Bridge and um, we've been here now for all nearly 30 years and in that time um, I've worked at the local primary school most of the time and I was teaching IT to the children and even now when I see the children out about who are in their 20s some of them and a bit later on than that they always come and say hello and always want to have a chat with me and that's the kind of place it's always been. In 2013, I had my original breast cancer um, and obviously, you know, that was a major change in our lives. But I was back at work again after I'd had chemotherapy and radiotherapy. And um, I put it to the back of my mind as I do most things and carried on working until about 2017, maybe slightly earlier. My cancer was back. It had got into my bones this time. Um, so I've now got palliative care which again can sound quite scary to some people. It just means that you're going to be working with a team of people who look after you and will help you through these stages. They help me at St. Luke's, first of all, to get my pain back on track and get me um, so that I wasn't in the place where I was. And once my pain was under control, I didn't feel quite so bad about everything. And I got to meet a really lovely lady called Julie. That was three years ago now, maybe four. But since then, she's actually become a really good friend to me. Julie's a really important part of me staying at home now, because if it wasn't for her, um, I don't know quite where I would have ended up. She phones me on a regular basis or comes to see me. Um, if ever I got something that I'm concerned about or worried about, Julie will be the person that I will go to first when it was needed that I should have um, maybe some aids at home, maybe a wheelchair or something. She then introduced a chap called Shane. He came, measured me up for a wheelchair. Um, made sure I was happy with that and that's important as well because she never pushes anything it's always my decision she's not just somebody who turns up in her purple dress you know you really are getting very good care and you know that what you say will be acted upon almost immediately the only thing I can think of that's changed in during Covid well yeah obviously we're not allowed to hug which is what we usually do and I don't know if I'm supposed to let her do that anyway but I need it more than she does I think because a good hug is really well meant when you're getting it from your um, St Luke's nurse because it's a hug like no ever it is a really good oh you can feel you need that kind of a hug from somebody and that's what Julie gives me she can't now obviously so you know we're doing this elbow thing or um, just saying goodbye because I'm stuck in bed and I can't get out again for a little while um, but really it's the, such minor things that have changed we do little video calls sometimes as well so she'll know she'll look at me through that and she'll know if I'm not well and she knows also that I'd only call her if I really need some help um, and so St Luke's uh, because they now are in my life at home they just mean so much to me now and the, the people who are there are just the kindest people that you could ever meet.